In this Python tutorial, we will create a web application with a slider object using the Streamlit library. We can change the size of the image on the web page with the slider object. In the video, I will show you step by step how to do this application. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel to support us. First, let's activate the web server. I open terminal. I open the command prompt. I go to Venn file. You can activate the web server using this code. The web server is currently running. I create a variable for the slider object. The first parameter sent to the slider function represents the title of the object. The second and third parameters represent the starting and ending values. I save the code file and refresh the page. I added the slider object to the web page. The fourth parameter sent to the slider function represents the default value. For example, let's set the default value to 150. I save the code file and refresh the page. When called to the web page, the initial value of the slider object is 150. Let's set a different default value. I set the default value to 200. I save the code file and refresh the page. I set the default value to 200. We can access the value of the slider object. I will print the variable to the web page using the write function. I save the code file and refresh the page. The value of the slider object is printed on the web page. Now let's add an image to the web page. I will use this image. You can access the image using the GitHub link in the description of the video. Or you can use your own image in the project. I send the file name to the image function. The image has been added to the web page. I will change the size of the image. I can do this using the width value. I set it to 150. I save the code file and refresh the page. Let's change the size again. I set it to 400. I save the code file and refresh the page. I will synchronize the size value with the width value. Thus, the size of the image will change according to the value in the slider object. I save the code file and refresh the page. The size of the image changes depending on the value in the slider object. I synchronize the caption value with size. Thus, we can see the value of the slider object in the title of the image. I save the code file and refresh the page. In this video, we learned how to use the slider object. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel to support us.